Well, we are going to keep things moving right along and bring up, uh, oh, coincidence, another friend of mine, Graham Elwood. This guy has, uh, oh, no, oh, no, i got to tell you about this guy. He uh, works clubs and colleges all over the country. Originally from where, Graham? Evanston? Yeah. Evanston, Illinois. Fine, fine guy. Played, uh, played high school football and likes to tell you about it when he's drunk. <laughs> Very funny guy. You've seen him on cable TV. Please welcome my buddy, Graham Elwood. Give him a hand. You're staring at me like I'm Sergeant Hulka. All right. Yeah. Well, folks, it's nice to be here. I, uh, I honestly hope I don't come across as being in a bad mood because my holidays were not good. I, uh, I ran into my ex-girlfriend. Oh, hey, now I was stalking her. <laughs> That's what the judge calls it. <laughs> Trumped up restraining order. Oh. Nice to be here, though. I've been spending a lot of time with my family. Uh, I think you realize something. I think you know when you're getting old, when you start picking up the annoying habits of your parents. <laughs> Isn't that it right there? I caught myself doing this the other day. This is why my dad used to tell us to be quiet when we were kids. You know, we, we'd be in the back of the car on a long road trip drive, and my dad, you know, wouldn't say shh or pipe down or something like that when we were acting up. He'd just be going, <laughs> What the hell are you saying, old man? Another thing he does, he's watching TV, he's got a drink in his hand. My brother, I gets up, instead of saying, uh, son, while you're up, could you get me another one? He'd just hold up the drink and go, <laughs> <laughs> Sandwich, <laughs> blanket, I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah, somebody go get R2-D2 a drink, for Christ's sake. Oh, yeah. Woo. Stripes. Oh. <laughs> Do a lot of traveling over the holidays. I, I realize something when, when you meet new people every week. Best way to gauge the intelligence of a complete stranger? By the way they give you directions. <laughs> Don't you think? Because if you get great directions, that's got to be a smart person, right? You ever get one of these people, and while they're talking to you, you start thinking, how the hell do you get around your own city? Talking to this guy in Indianapolis, which is a great town. I must have got the one lone idiot of that city. And uh, I call him, I go, hi, I'm a comic from Chicago, going to be driving down tonight to do the show. Uh, what's the best way to get to your comedy club? Uh, don't you have a map? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, obviously, I need to be a little more specific <laughs> with you. I know how to get to Indianapolis. I'm just taking I-65 right out of Chicago. I'm curious, sir, is there an exit? <laughs> I need to get off at him. I getting on the 465 bypass? What do I do? In this part, I'm not making up at all. He goes, well, uh, I don't really know, you see. I don't really drive on the interstates. <laughs> okay, um, is your mommy home? <laughs> Why don't you drive on the interstate, sir? Does it spook the horses? Is that what the problem is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you guys Amish? Listen to a lot of sports on the radio in my car when I'm traveling around for the uh, holidays. Uh, <laughs> listening to an NBA game a couple weeks ago, and I started thinking to myself, how do I know this is happening? I can't see a dang thing. These guys could be making this stuff up for all I know. You guys are taking this joke too seriously. Uh, <laughs> he's staring at me going, yeah, conspiracy comedy, man. I knew the NBA was fixed. I saw a second three-point shooter behind the grassy knoll. <laughs> a lot of supporters of the Warren Commission here. Uh, yeah, Oswald did it, and Reagan was awake for two terms. Um, anyway, oh, you're getting paid. Don't moan. <laughs> no, I would like to be a radio sports guy, because if I was one, I would just make stuff up just to mess with people. I would have such a blast. I'd just be sitting there going, all right, Scotty Pippen with the ball, gonna give it to Michael Jordan. Jordan stabbed in the neck by Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> oh, that's a flagrant foul if I've ever seen one. Another thing I would do, I'd really mess with the fanatics, the diehards. 
Couldn't get tickets to the big game. Couldn't get it on the TV. Could only get it on the radio. I'd make this sound like the greatest sporting event ever. <laughs> but don't really tell him anything. <laughs> Jordan with the ball. He's going to woo hoo hoo <laughs> All right, Shaquille O'Neal going the other way. He's going to, oh, man! <laughs> Tony Kuko crossing midcourt. Boy, the score and timer becoming a factor now. Yes, sir! <laughs> The Capacity crowd here is going wild, and if you could see the game, you'd know why. <laughs> I said, doing a lot of travel. When I first got into doing stand-up seven years ago, I didn't think it would get this boring on the road. Now all I do now is sit around my hotel room and call people. <laughs> Sitting in some motel six in the middle of Iowa, calling back to a friend of mine, you know, in Chicago, working a real job during the day. I'm just sitting there going, Hey! What's going on, man? You want to come over? Yeah, I'm getting pretty busy, too. Getting so bored, man, I'm just praying for wrong numbers. Hey! Nobody there by that name, huh? What are you guys doing? My greatest fear, uh, I'm going to start calling 900 numbers. No, no, not because I'm hard up, just because I'm bored. Right. Calling up, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> calling up 1-900-HOT-BABES. Hey! What are you guys doing? <laughs> just got over having a cold, folks. I realized something. When you're sick, do not mix NyQuil and heroin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that doesn't work. Uh, nighttime sniffling, sneezing, aching, so you can shoot some smack. Go to bed medicine. <laughs> Really good for a hangover. That's not good. As you know, my name is Graham Elwood, or my uh, Secret Service code name is the Cobra. You guys are looking at me like I'm that dork we all went to high school with. Remember that idiot? Gave himself a nickname? How big of a loser you gotta be to give yourself a nickname? This guy just decided to stand up one day in the middle of the lunchroom and go, hey, from now on, everybody start calling me Cobra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Graham, whatever. No, no, Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra strikes. I'm going to put that on my bowling jacket. <laughs> that joke kills in Wisconsin. Wisconsin uh, okay, pop, pop. Uh, oh, mm, extra. Uh, uh, yes, okay. This is the Cobra's Dojo. Uh, man, doing a lot of drinking last night on New Year's Eve. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, why is it when you when you plan a big night of drinking, it never happens? Every New Year's Eve, I plan to go out and get just slosh. It never happens. Anytime someone goes, oh, we're having a little dinner party. A couple of people, people are coming over. That's when I wind up, you know, naked on the back of their pickup. Just, yoo -hoo! Some motel room. Buck naked with new tattoos. Room full of bisexual midget hookers. Just... <laughs> Let me share one more thing with you before we get out of here. Before I get out of here. Uh... Uh, start my car. Um, <laughs> I like to watch a lot of TV. My most uh, favorite show now is the show uh, Cops. You guys like watching that show Cops? Yeah. Well, the reason I like it is because uh, I've been living in Chicago most of my life. If you've ever had a run-in with the Chicago Police Department, uh, pretty obvious why they never filmed that show there. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, the cops in Chicago are never that polite. Never see a Chicago cop being that polite, going, excuse me, sir, exit the vehicle. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> to the curb, Cobra, to the curb. Because <laughs> in Chicago, it's a little more like... <laughs> Shut up and get out of the car. <laughs> I don't care what show we're on. <laughs> Turn that camera off. <laughs> Better yet, get a close-up of me and my partner kicking his kid's head in. Hold him down, Jimmy. I was talking about that a couple weeks ago in Chicago, sitting right there. Table full of Chicago cops. 
yeah. You should have seen the cobra turn into the weasel in about a second and a <laughs> They went nuts, oh yeah, real funny comedy boy, laugh it up, yeah. <laughs> tell you what, maybe after the show we take you out back, tell you one of our jokes, huh? <laughs> tell them this one, Jimmy, knock, knock, who's there, me kicking your head in. <laughs> All right, funny man, get up, you get one phone call. Hey! You guys, my name's Graham Elwood, enjoy 1996, have a good one. <laughs>